Hey friends, my name is Bryson Alo Agbosu and welcome to another edition of my Creative Design Challenge. In today's episode, I'm going to demonstrate how to create the Asasi Radio logo. Check it out. We create a file and in pixels. So let me use 1920 by 1400 pixels. So the, the next thing we will do is to import our logo onto our artboard. So as you can see, this is the Asasi Radio logo. So I'm import. I've just imported into onto the page. Hold the Shift Alt key as usual to resize it evenly. Now locate your layer palette tool. That's the layers. Click this arrow to reveal all other items within this layer. So I'll just click on this toggle to lock it. I'll close this panel. So as you can see, there's this instrument with a letter A. That's how they've created it. The next item is this two circles and then they have the text. That's the Asasi Radio 99.5, the voice of our land. So let's create it. So to start with, we are going to create this, this shape here or this element. So to start with, let's activate our pen tool. Click on the pen tool and start drawing. So this is a freehand logo. And so we can easily draw it. Now, since I'm having the fill tool and I'm not able to see all other parts of the thing I'm drawing, I'll just go to the fill tool here and then deactivate the fill. So none. And you can continue tracing try it out just trace with me when we are done tracing we'll use our control point tool to edit the shape so we've been able to complete our logo but you can see that it is not really sharp so you just zoom in and then go for your direct selection tool Just click on an anchor point and then use the handles that we have to control the anchor point. Zoom out. And so I think what we have been able to create so far is perfect. Just click on your selection tool and now we have it there. 
the next item is to create the inner shape that we have over here so still go for your pen tool again and then we start from here now let's use the control points to edit it out yeah so we've been able to create both both shapes that we need the next thing to do is to activate the fill tool for this so we are seeing the brown color over here and then we need to also have the hollow shape over here so to do this let's click on the first item the first shape that we drew go for your eyedropper tool and then select just click on the, the color we have over here and it just selects the same color now the next item is to click on the second shape that we drew and then select it so as we are seeing the entire thing has been filled up so what we are going to do is to run a minus front so select all items then come to your properties pathfinder and then click on click to minus front and yes we've been able to create this item here now the next item to do activity to undertake is to draw these two ellipse that we have over here so click on click and hold the shape tool to select the ellipse tool draw the first ellipse so in drawing we hold a shift and alt key to draw that and i think this is perfect yes so we've been able to create the first shape so control c control shift v to paste in the same area then sorry then hold the shift and alt again to resize it evenly now since it's been resized all we need to do is to select both ellipse that's the first and the one beneath it go back to your properties pathfinder and then click to minus front now we can see that we've not been able to the inner circle is not on this line so all we need to do is to double click the shape and then select this path here hold the shift and alt key to resize it and yes this is perfect so since we've been able to create this all we need to do is to duplicate it so Control c and then Control shift v to paste in the same area now hold the shift alt key to resize but we need to select the golden color that we have over there so all i can do is to alternate this so i can have the outline and since i have the outline here um yes so i think right now we are seeing that we need to resize this item so double click again click and then resize this shape here yes so since this has been done and we have this shape selected we go for our eyedropper tool and then select the golden area space and then click on this brown here to select the golden and yes we've been able to create a similar copy of the logo here the next thing to do is to have the Asasi radio 99.5 the voice of our land text here so to do that we activate our text or type tool and then type type Asasi good 72 we still need to have a bigger and so if you take a look at the fonts that they are using over here i think is their poppins so let me try the poppins black black is too bold so let me go in for the semi bold now all i need to do is to resize to fit
so I can make it 225. Good. And the color is brown, so since we have it selected, just go for your eyedropper tool and then select this brown. The next item is to have radio. Radio. And the radio's font weight is small. So all I need to do is to change the font weight and then also resize it. So since we have been able to resize this, the next thing to do is to copy this and then type the 99.5. 99.5 type and then we need to change its color. So change the color here. And the final thing that we need is the voice of our land so let me try uh, 72 and I think we still need to increase it so the voice of our land so now let's do this so go back to your layers with the image that we imported before starting all you need to do is to just turn it off and then go back and yes this is the logo that we have also been able to create for asasi radio just try your hands on this let me also see what you'll be able to create let me see if you can create this logo this beautiful logo that asasi radio has try your hands on it share with me let me see what you've been able to create also Thank you very much for watching if you've not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel like my videos leave a comment and then also share with any other person out there who also wants to learn how to design with adobe illustrator or any design software thank you